Hey everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a really cool preloader inside of Wix or Wix Studio. Now, before we get started, I do just wanna give a special shout out to all the channel members. I really do appreciate your support. It does mean a lot to me. And if you aren't aware of what channel members are, if you press that join button down below the video, you can become a channel member. If you do join, you get access to videos just like this, but before they actually go live on the channel, I do typically release the videos one to six weeks earlier here for channel members. So if you wanna be able to see videos early, you can press that join button down below. But again, just a special shout out to all the channel members. And if you can't join, absolutely no worries. Just viewing and subscribing to the channel is plenty of support. So I really do appreciate you guys as well. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So here I am on the live website and I just kind of want to give you an example of what we're going to be building in today's video. So if I refresh the page, you're going to see that preloader and it's going to fade right into our website. And I think it looks really clean, even though this one is a little bit simple. It's just kind of a concept idea. And don't worry, I'm going to be providing the code to you guys if you want to use it for yourself. You can just follow the link in the description below to the website and you can copy and paste this if you want. Now I will say I am using Lord Icon and I'm using one of their options here as my preloader. So to give you an idea of what I did, I simply just changed the colors and I downloaded the GIF version of this. Once I downloaded the GIF, I immediately uploaded it to my website's media library. So we have it right here. Once we are done with that, we're gonna move to the dashboard for the website. Then we're gonna come down to settings and we're gonna scroll down to custom code. Now, two things I wanna mention before we add our custom code. You can only add custom code on websites with a premium plan and a domain connected to it. So if you don't have those two things, you will not be able to add the custom code. But I assume a lot of you are doing this for like a client website or your own website. So you probably already or will have a premium plan and domain connected. So I don't think it's too much to worry about. But then we're just gonna go ahead and press add custom code. And I'm just gonna copy the code over just like this. Then we're gonna go ahead and name it preloader. And we're gonna make sure it's on all pages or you can choose a specific page and just select the home page. And then you're gonna wanna make sure that we place the code in the head. Okay, however, we're not quite done with this because we are gonna have to at least adjust one thing. So let's head back over to our media library where we uploaded the GIF. We're gonna right click on our GIF here and we're gonna copy the URL. Once we have this copied, we're gonna go back over to our code snippet and we're just gonna like slowly scroll through this until we hit the hashtag loop icon here. We're gonna go down to the background and we're gonna change this GIF link and we're gonna change it to the link that we got from this copy URL right here. And then we can go ahead and press apply. But I will also say if we scroll up to the hashtag preloader and we scroll down to the background, we can actually change the color of the background as well to be whatever color you want it to be. So just for example, if you have some sort of GIF, that's like a light pink that matches your brand, then you might not want a dark green color as your background for the preloader. So this is where you're gonna be able to change that background color. Um, so you might wanna do like a dark pink or maybe a white or a black. Whatever your brand colors is, you can change um, the background color to kind of match whatever preloader looping GIF that you are using. But once we are happy with that, we can go ahead and press apply. But once we make that preloader and head over to the live website and I just refresh the page, you're now gonna see a nice little simple preloader and it loads right into the website. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. Again, the code will be linked in the description below if you just wanna copy and paste it and use it on your own website. I wanna thank you guys for watching. If you did like it and learned something, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more Wix and Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again for watching and I will see you on the next one.